So the experience begins with the label printing scale. Uh, merchants place something on the scale, they look up an item, and they print a label. This label natively would not work on the Clover device without our app. And I'm going to demonstrate this now. All right, so here we are on the register app, and here's the label. And we're going to go ahead and try to scan it, and it's going to take you to add item screen. And even if we basically get this set up in the inventory app, well, let's go ahead and do this real quick. So here we've added the name, we've indicated that the item is variable. We can also say that it's per unit, but in any case, it wants a product code. And what do you enter in a case where it's like this? Uh, you can see that towards the end of the barcode, 1177, representing the total price, is also embedded. So only part of this barcode can be used as an item number. And, for example, we're doing this. Uh, 028. So that's six digits there. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and save this item. Oh, let's go ahead and just change it to variable to make it quicker. So there it is. I have this item now. Uh, I just want to make sure that I don't have duplicates. I'm going to search for 02. Oh, here. 028. I actually do have uh, both of these items. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this one to make sure that we don't have duplicates. So only one item. And now when I try to scan this barcode, actually let's go ahead and set up the rest of the variable price. So here's the variable price barcode parser. See how it tells them that they still need to give us more permissions to make this work. Um, and also let's go here and choose this. Um, and then let's go to the settings. So this is the last part that the merchant has to do themselves. They have to give us accessibility settings, uh, permissions, so that we can uh, close the screen. All right, so I've turned that on. And now I'm going to scan this uh, barcode again. And you see what happened. Um, it, you know, found the item and put uh, everything in. There it is. But... If you were to watch this in the slow motion, uh, you'd see that it actually cancels the merchant out of that screen. In fact, let me show you. If I go back to settings uh, and uncheck, here it is, turn this off, right? Um, let me go ahead and delete this. All right, so I'm going to scan this, and it's going to end up at the I item screen, right, like that. But if I just cancel out of it, you'll see that on the back end, our app already found the item and embedded the price. But because the app didn't have the accessibility permission, it was not able to cancel the merchant out of that screen. And so this right here is precisely why they're giving us the accessibility setting um, right here. It's so that we can cancel that screen for them. And it looks like this instead. Um, like so. And so that's basically all the permissions and that's the entire functionality of the app. Thank you.